Hi, crafties, and welcome to Weekend Crafting Adventures. I'm Kim. And in this week's crafting project, I have just finished cutting some natural wood veneers into some layered boho earrings with my Cricut Maker and the Deep Point Blade. Let me tell you a little bit about the inspiration behind this project. I am slowly working my way through all of the materials that my Cricut Maker can cut. And it has been a really long time since I have tried cutting wood with my Cricut Maker. The last time I tried cutting wood was when I cut basswood to create the seasonal home sign. And that experience of um, cutting the basswood with my Cricut Maker definitely was not ideal. So I really have taken some time before I've kind of gotten back the inspiration to want to try cutting more wood with my Cricut Maker. But I decided it was time. And so I'm taking on cutting the natural wood veneer maple and walnut to create and to continue to build my collection of earrings that I'm working on. And this project was fun. So let me highlight the resources that I did use in this project. I am in the middle of my all access subscription free trial to Creative Fabrica that um, I am really enjoying. And so the two earring cut files that I used in this project are from Creative Fabrica. And I did use two different designers, two different cut files that I downloaded. And so I'll tell you a little bit more about those in a few minutes. But but um, that was really the only resource that I used outside of just kind of learning a little bit and getting a background on what these natural wood veneers are. And they're really like slices of really thin wood. And what I chose to do was use the Cricut wood veneer just because my experience in cutting wood has not been great with my Cricut maker. And I really wanted to make sure if I was going to try this again, I was going to be using a material specifically made to be cut by my Cricut maker. So as a highlight on materials, I am going to tell you I did use both the Cricut wood veneer in maple and in walnut. And I chose to do two because I really wanted to create this natural wood layered look in the earrings that I am making. And so I wanted to have a balance between a light wood and a dark wood. So that is one of the important materials that I had to purchase for this project. I also needed to use my deep point blade, which I already had, but that is how you cut the wood veneers. And so because of both the deep point blade and the wood veneers, this project can only be done if you have a Cricut Maker or a Cricut in the Explore series so that you can access both those materials. Another highlight for a material would be the 12 by 24 cutting mat. I chose to use my strong grip 12 by 24, and I'll explain why um, in my experience in a couple minutes, but it really made my project that much more successful and easy because I could put both of the veneers, one on each end because the wood veneer is 12 by 12. So I put my maple on one end and I put my walnut on the other. And I'll tell you how that worked out in just a couple minutes. The other materials that were important for this would be painter's tape for sure to tape down that wood. And 
um, some tweezers when you're weeding. I, of course, one of my most favorite tools in my crafting corner is my lint roller. And boy, did it come in handy in this project because one of the designs I chose to make had some pretty intricate cuts. I ended up with a bunch of tiny little pieces of wood all over my crafting table. And the easiest, best way for me to clean that up quickly is to use my lint roller. So I always have that handy in my crafting corner, but I did want to highlight it because I will tell you, I truly use my lint roller in every single project that I do with my Cricut Maker in my crafting corner. So let me tell you a bit about the experience of doing this crafting project. Before I tell you about the experience, I did want to highlight one more important material, and that is the jewelry making kit. I purchased it on Amazon when I was doing my polymer clay earrings project. So I still have a ton of the earring hardware and my earring pliers and all of that. But if you are interested in creating the earrings, the wood veneer earrings, then you will need some way to put those onto some sort of earring hardware. So that would be important. Okay, so the experience. Well, the first thing I needed to do was to find the designs that I wanted to use for these earrings. And because I was cutting wood and I wasn't sure how it was going to go, I chose two different cut files. And I found both of my cut files, like I mentioned before, on Creative Fabrica. And I am loving my all access subscription free trial. I've already taken a class, which I'm going to be using for my next project. And I think I've downloaded like five out of my 10 downloads. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. But I found two different cut files for these earrings. One was very simple. It is just an outline for one layer. The top layer is going to be like a cutout outline and the bottom layer is just going to be pretty much um, a nice almost teardrop like shape with a little bit of accent at the bottom. So I chose one simple design because I wanted to see how my Cricut Maker with the deep point blade was going to do cutting the natural wood veneers. So a simple design and the one that I chose was called Bohemian Earrings and that was from 21X Studio on Creative Fabrica. And the second design that I chose, the second cut file for earrings was a little more complicated. I wanted to really kind of put the Cricut Baker to the test. And so I chose a Mandela flower design for earrings. And that one was called Mandela Earrings Flower. And that was from Last Wizard Shop. And um, actually, those are one of the pair that I'm wearing right now, and I love them, but they were way more complicated. So again, I went with two different kinds of designs because I wanted to see if it could do the simple design. And then also how far could I push my Cricut making a smaller intricate designs. So those were the designs I chose. And I had to download them from Creative Fabrica onto my desktop on my laptop and then upload them into Cricut Design Space. And that was a very easy process. It was very simple. Um, the one thing that did happen though when I uploaded the um, cut files into my project canvas in Cricut Design Space is that they really came out big. So I had to resize my earring cut images on Cricut Design Space to a size that I was comfortable with. I decided to go with a width of about 1.1 inches, which created a length of about 1.8 
eight inches. So they are a little bit bigger than my typical earring that I wear, but I always want to kind of push myself to try new things and different things. And so that was the size that I went with. And I'm actually really happy with that size. So that whole process of using those cut files and designs that are not from Cricut Design Space, really easy and um, worked out really well getting them ready to cut. The other thing that I did with the Mandela design earrings is that those were just a single layer cut file, and that would have been great. They, they're a beautiful cut and design, but the look that I wanted for myself was a layered earring look. So in order to get the layered look on my Mandela design earrings, what I decided to do, and this is a really quick and easy way to create the layered look if it's something that you want to do, is that I sized my earring in my Cricut Design Space to exactly the size I wanted. And then I went up into the upper right hand side and there's a little plus sign and that's the duplicate button. So I duplicated that exact earring. And then I went to the contour function. And in the contour function, I could basically get rid of all of the cut, little cut lines and cuts for that earring. And what that left me with was basically the teardrop shape that is exactly the same shape as the Mandela designed earring, but with no cuts. So what that is going to create is that back layer of that dark wood that is just no cuts in it. So when I lay the maple with the cuts on it, in on top of the darker wood, the walnut, it's going to give me that really cool looking layered wood look that I wanted. So I have now both of the designs of earrings are going to be layered. And like I said before, the real simple bohemian style earring design that came with the two layers in the cut file. And then the second one, the mandala flower design, that's the one where I used the duplicate and the contour function to create that second layer. And now it was time for me to get ready for the cut. So a couple of really important things that I learned in this process. One, I chose to use the 12 by 24 cutting mat. And the reason I did that is that my designs were small enough. I'm only making four sets of earrings. And so I wanted to have the lighter maple wood. It's a 12 by 12 wood veneer sheet on top, on the top half of my 12 by 24 cutting mat. And then on the bottom half, I put the walnut and I taped those down really well with blue painters tape. I also used my brayer to make sure that that really thin wood veneer sheet was sticking to my strong grip mat. And the reason I decided to use the 12 by 24 was just simply to cut down on time and to cut down on the amount of tape I was using. I figured if I just would have the Cricut cut what it needed to from the maple first and then just flip around my mat and the walnut would be cut second, I just made sure I had both of those wood veneer 12 by 12 sheets taped down completely on that one cutting mat. Less mess, less tape, less time. So that was a really fun little kind of hack that I did for this project. The other thing that I had to really pay close attention to was where my design was located once I pushed the make it button and my prepare screen came up. That's when you can adjust where your design is cut 
on your cutting mat. I really had to make sure that I moved those earring designs so that they were not going to be cut over the painter's tape. And so that was a really important part to getting the best cut out of my Cricut and my Deep Point Blade. After I had everything ready to go, I did choose my material, which was the natural wood veneer. And it is automatically pops up for you the Deep Point Blade, but I changed my pressure to more. And the reason I did this was that the first time that I tried cutting out, I did just the default pressure and I did one Cricut cut. So this is a little bit complicated because when you push the go button for the wood veneer sheets, Cricut is automatically going to do four cut passes. It's just what the default setting is. But what I learned through my first try was that with the default pressure and one cut of Cricut, so four cut passes, one time pushing the cut button, it really didn't get all of the design cut out well. So I learned through this experience that the best cut was going to be using more pressure when you're getting your wood veneer cut. The first pass or the first cut is going to do four cut passes. Do not take out your cutting mat. Leave it on there and push the go button again. This will bring your design right back into your Cricut Maker and cut exactly in the same place for more cut passes. And that worked beautifully. So this was a good experience. I was super excited because my first basswood cutting experience was awful. And this was a really positive, fun experience. The cuts came out really, really well. Um, I was impressed by it. I will say that the more simple the design, the better the cut with the deep point blade and the wood veneer. My mandala earrings did come out beautiful. I absolutely love them, but the intricate cuts are definitely not as crisp as the more just the simple cut, simple shape of the other teardrop earrings. So I would say, depending on your project, keep in mind the complexity of the cut and the size of your project. If it's a smaller size, like the earring around one inch, maybe a little bit more than that, just just keep in mind that those more intricate cuts may not be as clean and crisp as a simple design with just a shape or an outline in it. A couple of more things about this project and this experience. Um, once you have gone through the two cuts and you're ready to remove the wood veneer, your earrings, your project, whatever it is you've made out of this material from the Strong Grip mat, they, this wood is delicate. It's super thin. So be careful getting your project off of the cutting mat. What worked really well for me, I would carefully bend the cutting mat, just kind of bend it on each side. And what that did is it really helped the wood veneer earring kind of separate and release from the cutting mat. I then took my little weeding tools, whether I used my um, tweezers, my little hook we weeding tool, and a little bit of the spatula to just remove the excess, but 
again, it's pretty fragile. So just really take your time in getting those pieces off of the cutting mat. The process of putting the jewelry on the wood veneer earrings was really easy. I absolutely love how these earrings turned out. I love the unique kind of wood look that layering the light and the dark wood on top of each other creates. I think it's fun that there's a little bit, you can see the grain of the wood and also they're so light. I do not like wearing heavy earrings. It gives me a headache. It bothers me. And these earrings are like paper light. They are so amazing. You don't really even feel that they're on your ears. And so for me, that's a total win. I love it. Overall, this was a fast project. Within a day, I had everything done and just a really enjoyable crafting experience. And I have four new pair of earrings to wear this summer to add to my earring collection. So let me tell you about my crafting keepers for this crafting project. Both of these crafting keepers specifically have to do with cutting the wood veneer sheets. And um, the first crafting keeper is going to be that doing the extra cut pass. It just made the cut crisp and clean and pretty much popped right off of my cutting mat. So that extra cut pass is a keeper. The second one is going to be bending that Cricut cutting mat when removing the wood veneer project from the mat. Taking my time, but really, instead of trying to peel off the earring, I really paid more attention and worked harder at bending back the cutting mat. And that really, really made the process of removing the delicate wood veneer design off of the cutting mat. So that brings me to my satisfaction rating for this project. I'm going to give this project a four. And the reason I'm going to give it a four is that I love the earrings. Um, the cut files were great to use. They're light on my ears. I love the unique look of the grain and the wood layered on top of each other. But I am going to say if you're only wanting to do small, intricate, complicated designs that this probably isn't the best material for that. It did OK with mine. I mean, these two designs came out great. But again, the lines are not as crisp and perfect as I would like. And the other thing is that the wood veneer sheets are expensive. So I'm talking like for two sheets, $18. That's a lot of money. So if you're going to be doing a large project or make trying things that maybe you're not sure how they're going to come out, there might be some waste, just know that this material is expensive. There may be other options out there that are not Cricut brand, but I have not tried those, so I can't speak to them. Like I said, overall, it was a really good experience. I'm glad I tried cutting wood again with my Cricut maker because I really needed a good bounce back after that basswood experience, and this was a really good experience overall. So I hope this this inspires you to maybe try making something with the wood veneer sheets and get your cricket off the shelf and get crafty. Until our next adventure, take care. That's all for this episode of Weekend Crafting Adventures. Now go get that cricket machine off the shelf and get crafty. For more information on this crafting project, interesting tips, tricks, and techniques, visit wcapodcast.com. Until next time, when we embark on another adventure.